Well, hello everyone. This is Lois Banks coming to you from the Lois Banks Ministry. Um, I have a special uh, message for you and um, God wants me to talk about confidence and how to have confidence the right way where it's linked to him and the fruit of the spirit found in um, the book of uh, Galatians. Many of you already know that I have a very active fasting and prayer life and I'm talking about fasting and prayer because you know you know a lot of churches are not talking about fasting and prayer because a lot of leaders do not have discipline in God they don't and uh God clearly talks about the importance of fasting and prayer in the Bible not only will you be strengthened and you can break strongholds and flow in creative miracles when you have an active of fasting and prayer life um, but you also flush out your body. Thus, I have a healing ministry. I've been walking in this uh, knowledge for over 25 years as a licensed nurse. Um, once a week for 24 hours, I push my plate back and I fast and pray in the Holy Ghost before the Lord. I, I download the Old and the New Testament into my spirit. I walk in a real power of God. And during this uh, downtime and quiet time with God, God is talking to me about my family, my children, my ministry, um, other people. He's um, highlighting uh, areas where I need to pray over my family, over myself, over, uh, you know, managers, over coworkers, um, over things that are taking place in the earth. And I get, I get busy. I get down and I get busy uh, with God because I do not shuck and jive with God. And I walk in real power with God. Uh, when I pray for people, blind eyes open, the deaf hear, the lame walk. Um, I could give a verbal command in Jesus' name and tell a short leg um, to grow three or four inches and whatever it is I say in Jesus' name happens. And the legs and the limbs grow right in my hand. Um, prior to the uh, pandemic, um, I was hosting conferences um, around the world. I mean, you know... Um, I just obey God. I traveled internationally um, to interview uh, brilliant scientists and doctors, and many of you already know that. Um, God sent me um, around the world to um, do research and to do interviews with brilliant minds, people who understood how the body worked and how to um, walk in health. And I came back and I made sure I shared it uh, with the world. So, you know, I'm very serious in my walk with God. I do not shuck and jive. I do not have a lazy walk with God. If you can't push your plate back and fast and pray, then you're, you're lazy in that area. And you're not walking in the fullness of power um, in God that you, you really need to walk in. And it's usually because the leaders in the pulpit um, are not teaching that. Now, God does have some leaders who understand the importance of fasting and praying and discipline, especially during the times that we're living in now. You have to know how to walk in power, God. You have to know how to hear from God. How are you going to hear from God if you're not disciplined enough to push your play back? And so um, the message today um, is going to be focused on uh, confidence. And God wants me to talk about confidence the right way in him based on the word of God. Um, and I want to start off by saying that I do not have confidence based on things that God has blessed me with, such as uh, a house that's paid in full, the, the sports car that I drive, um, the two uh, degrees that I earned, um, and uh, my, my nursing license and then a special license in pharmacology. Um, um, I don't have confidence because of the clothes that I wear or the money that I make currently. Um, I don't have confidence just because um, I own two companies and um, I'm an inventor and that I uh, executive produce. Um, assisted, directed, and acted in a movie that I wrote entitled Walking with God based on my 
uh, a book that I wrote entitled Walking with God. So, you know, that's not where my confidence comes from. My confidence doesn't come from the fact that um, I'm blessed and highly favored. My confidence doesn't come um, from the fact that um, God blessed me with high intelligence. I have a very high IQ. That's not where my confidence um, comes from. My confidence doesn't come from um, the fact that I received a, a special medal of distinction from uh, President uh, George Bush Sr. And I, I was sent an invitation to fly into Washington, D.C. to to have a, a special dinner and to receive my medal for the work that I'm doing for the Lord. That's not where my confidence comes from. Um, my confidence doesn't come from all of the successes that I've had in life and all of my accomplishments. That's not where my confidence comes from because they're just things. They're just things and I can't take those things with me um when i go home to be with with the lord one day not anytime soon but i can't take any of those things uh with me so i've learned to to um uh, wear those things really loose now i i'm very grateful i tell god thank you all the time for smiling on me and finding favor with me and just blessing my socks off but I'm going to tell you the real reason why I have confidence and where my confidence comes from. My confidence comes in the fact that I know how to push my play back, have discipline in God, talk to my Father in heaven, and have him communicate back to me to give me clear instructions on what I'm supposed to do. I shared this with you before that I flow in all nine gifts of the Holy Spirit and God likes to talk to me through the gifts that he placed inside of me. He likes to talk to me a lot through visions and dreams. When he's given me a vision or a dream, he's very specific. He's very instructional. He's very clear and I know exactly what God wants me to do. That's where I get my confidence. I get my confidence in the fact that when I open up my mouth and pray, my Father in heaven hears me. I have confidence. That's where that confidence comes from. My confidence comes from knowing God, from walking with God, from not shucking and jiving with God, for getting down to serious business with God, and for being able to hear clear instructions from God. That's where my confidence comes from. My confidence comes from where, I mean, at any given point in time, it doesn't matter where I am. If I ask someone if they want prayer on the spot immediately, the power of God comes out of me to bring a blessing um, to people. Now, I'm very, and I'm very careful and I understand that, the environment for a creative miracle to take place is very important. Um, I have a nursing background. Everybody in the medical field, y'all, are not godly. I, when I went through nursing school, there was a person in my nursing class who pledged allegiance to Satan. Did y'all hear me? Was, was making satanic symbols in the class, but had the smarts to become a nurse. There are people in the medical field who are sons and daughters of Satan. Doctors, nurses, physical, um, uh, physical and, um, and anybody in physical therapy. I mean, everybody is not walking with God in. You know, when you got to be careful who you have around you when you want a miracle to manifest, especially during the times that we're living in now, because they're not letting a lot of families come into the hospitals to monitor and to watch their loved ones. And you don't know who the heck is, is, is tending to your loved one and what kind of demonic, evil, entity 
um, is over your loved one to cause harm and danger. I'm just talking out of experience. I'm talking about what I know. So even when it comes to creative miracles, it's very important that the people who are surrounded by that person who needs a miracle, that they are true believers in Christ Jesus. And they're not going to, they don't have any racism in their heart. They don't have allegiance to Satan in their heart. You understand what I'm saying? And they don't have darkness in their heart from any form because the sick person's life is in the hands of whoever is over that person. And it could go either way. You know, you, you got to be very careful. That's why Jesus had people leave out the room when he was getting ready to speak to dead bodies and stuff like that. You know, when someone had passed away, Jesus walked in the room. He, he cleared the room out. Because you don't need that negative energy interrupting with the power and the flow of Father God. So you got to be careful with all that. I'm just sending out a warning to you because I know as a licensed nurse, all these hospitals ain't what they cracked up to be. There's some stuff going on behind the scenes that you need to be made aware of and you need to wake up and know what's going on. That's why I've been teaching people how to take care of the body, how to go to God for healing, how to uh, reverse all forms of diseases. I've been teaching y'all this for over 20 years because you got to know how to take care of your body properly and stay out them darn hospitals. Only go for an emergency season when you really need to go. You know, so um, my confidence comes in the fact that I can hear from my Father in Heaven and I don't lean on anyone for anything. I lean on my Father God. Do y'all understand what I'm saying? And that's where my confidence is. And I know as, you know, people move up in success, their head gets filled, filled with a whole lot of Thoughts of arrogance and pride and look what I have done and look what I have achieved and I am this and I am that. I'm, go I'm here to tell you, it must be very, very heavy carrying all that stuff up in your head. It has to be. It, it must be he heavy carrying all that up in your head and thinking that you did all that stuff by yourself. And I'm here to tell you, I know for a fact with everything that I've accomplished. I did not do it on my own. I, I put some effort into it. I, I did my part, but I know God smiled on me and, and prospered and blessed my way. And so I take a very humble approach and line my behavior and my attitude up to the word of the living God. And I walk in love and I lock, walk in forgiveness. I walk in kindness and I walk in long suffering because there are things I go through that I shouldn't go through but I forgive it and I move on and I and I deal with it and I, and I let God deal with it and I just keep moving forward I don't let things stop me but I stay in the fruit of the spirit and I'm talking about the fruit of the spirit because there's a lot of people talking about their Christians that they love the Lord and they are stank. They act like sons and daughters of Satan. I'm not gonna lie. You can't tell you can't tell who belongs to Satan and who belongs to God because of behaviors. And God is not pleased with that kind of behavior. You do not have permission to walk outside the fruit of the spirit for any reason, even when you're under attack by darkness. You just speak the word of God and keep it moving. Speak the word of God, pray keep it moving speak the word of god fast and pray and keep it moving and you sing praises to your god and you read your word and you just keep it moving okay because you know no weapon for and against you is going to prosper and every tongue that rise against you in judgment you shall condemn for this is the heritage of the service of the lord and the righteousness is of me saith the lord you just keep it moving speak the word forgive keep it moving so this is Lois Banks. 
coming to you from the Lord's Banks Ministry. As God prospers you and moves you forward, please don't let all that go to your head and don't do that. It's such an ugly emotion that you project into the world. And I'm going to tell y'all right now, I don't like being around people like that because it's not real. It's all phony. It's not real. Nobody can do anything without um, the Lord allowing it. So if you are a child of God and you do claim Jesus as Lord and Savior and you are filled with the precious Holy Ghost, you are required to behave like the word. You're not required to behave like the world. I don't care what the world is doing. I don't care what the world is behaving. Don't, you're not, you cannot walk like that and be in the light of God's word. You have to always remain in the fruit of the spirit as you continue to prosper and succeed. This is Lois Banks coming to you from the Lois Banks ministry. The Father God loves you. Jesus loves you. The Holy Ghost loves you. I love you and Jesus is Lord.